So I've been experimenting with my hummingbird nectar ratios and a few years ago I strayed away from the four to one mix as I found it's just not strong enough for them. Uh, it populates the feeders more if you do a three to one mix. The birds are happier and you get more of them. Now, just recently somebody shared a video with me saying an even stronger mix can be beneficial and the person in the video said they did their research. Well, I did my research too and I'm coming to find that this is not the case. Um, though they are drinking it, my feeder is just not populated like it usually is. Um, instead of every like 30 seconds, they're coming every two or three minutes or maybe even longer. Usually by this time of day, I have already gone through one full feeder and, and I've refilled it. And as you can see, this one's only missing maybe an inch of the nectar. So they definitely don't care for the stronger mix like I thought they were going to. Not only that, but with my own research, I've found that on hot days like where we live, a stronger mix like this can run the risk of dehydrating the birds because they're not getting enough of the water that they need. Also, you run a much, much, much higher risk of fermentation of the nectar because of the sugar content that's in there, especially in the heat that we have here. Um, so I think I'm going to stray it back down to a uh, 3 to 1 ratio as they prefer it. <laughs> as you can see, we have birds. They're coming, but they're just not eating. So. It's a little frustrating, um, so we're going to go back to the 3 to 1. I'm actually going to just take this nectar, I'm going to water it down some for them, and uh, go from there and see how it works. So uh, my advice for anybody that's doing the hummingbird nectars, some people might have a better feed off of a 2 to 1, but I'm going to say stick with the 3 to 1 ratio, tried and true, bye bye.